Okay, sorry about that, folks. My phone suddenly froze in the middle. So this is part two of the downstairs. And uh, I was stuck. I'm not sure where we interrupted, but I've got the Brooke Shields dolls, all kind of Snoopy, uh, Linus, uh, Charlie Brown, all those guys got a rainbow bright. Here's a baby first step doll with their roller skates on. And then I think I was saying that we had a lot of these um, uh, sewing machine parts when I was in rudely interrupted by my phone stopping. Fall Guy lunchbox. I like this nice long chest here. Um, that's cedar line chest, just 75 bucks in the tag sale. There's a ton of plush toys down here. I've got a great train track on the board here. That's HO, and then there's HO parts down there below. You're going to find a lot of interesting chairs down here in the tag sale. And then uh, we mentioned books upstairs. Here's three crates of books on the floor. There's another one, and they go on and on. They even I got another refrigerator full of books. Here's one of my favorites in the sale. This is a really beautiful mid-century, uh, you know, sort of hotel type furniture chest. I like that one. And then definitely one of the highlights in the online auction. This is the mid-century dining table with the six chairs. Now you can see this totally cool uh, chair. If I can get to the side, you can get that, that funky kind of forward leaning angle that it's got. And of course, you've got that classic round tapered mid-century uh, modern type uh, table leg of course we got the uh the um, top on this to uh, the protector to protect it but you can lift up here on the corner and see uh sorry shadowy but there's a, at least a decent view despite the shadow it's really nice mahogany it's in excellent shape down here in the basement also kind of a primitive almost handmade furniture I got this match pair here there's a fantastic another cedar chest here which really unusual Let's see if i can get to the side yeah you see how it's got this kind of rise up sides with this nice turned uh, 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 rail across the top. That's unusual. It's kind of a benchy uh, um, cedar chest and it's really nice quality, really heavy duty. That's number 103 in the online auction. And then over here, back here, as I go back across that mid-century table, lots of interesting dolls. I get down here in the corner. Um, some of this stuff, you know, used to be collectible. It's not as much now. Some of it's still pretty hot. And here's Let's Talk. There's a um, uh, Jan Hagar dolls. There's Rake's original, Robin Woods, Swan Lake Barbie. There's several Barbies in here. Little Miss No Name. That was a pretty hot one on eBay. And then I love this book set, the Book House set. Uh, this is the earlier 1920s set. There's about seven or eight of those. So that's a really pretty set. Now, um, picking back up here again, I got spinning around. I'm going to do one more loop and then we'll go into the tool room. Primitive table. It's, it's got a little, you know, it's got some sturdiness issues, but if you like primitives, that's a cool one. There's one, two, three, four, five more safes on the floor. And then uh, a whole kind of uh, fun miscellany. Just everything was coming out of the boxes down here as we spread and spread. There's another primitive table underneath that. Bookshelf. Uh, there's probably half a dozen nice solid wood, real wood bookshelves you can get down here, not parts, uh, pieced together stuff. There's a nice little locking cabinet with the deer on the front. Another bookshelf here full of books. Another bookshelf under there, and I've got the antique toy stoves. This isn't the Chinese reproduction. This is cool stuff, and then we got all the little accessories for the stoves priced individually. Coming back down the other side, got uh, there's several of the uh, trestle uh, sewing machine bases, and that's a, a really pretty one there. And we have more raisins. There's an erector set. Should have made it to the online auction, but we didn't find it in time. Really awesome cradle. There's a couple really good cradles here. Uh, more interesting side chairs. I like the White House green stamp uh, machine there. That's pretty cool. Another little play table here and the uh, uh, shoe lath on the ground. And okay, now we're rolling into the tool rooms. We got, uh, you know, a saw that needs some parts. We got one of your workmates. I've got a nice craftsman drill press in the online auction. Nice craftsman. Uh, uh, radial arm saw. Here's all kind of electric equipment and, you know, your classic workshop. Oh my God, there's so many parts and pieces here as we go around, you know, like this. Here's a $40 tub full of all kind of awesome hardware in the, in the tub that it's in is pretty cool. This, uh, great workbench. I've decided to sell it as pieces. It's a great workbench top for 10 bucks, or you can have the two drawer stacks, which you, yeah, they came off of some executive desk and been painted. Uh, you know, they're 25 bucks a piece. They're solid as, as, you know, they're nuclear proof. And then look at all the tools on the wall. Nicely organized. Everyone's priced. You can come in here and pick what you want. The old uh, wooden batteries. I love those. It's one of my favorites. Expensive mercury vapor lights. This is some crazy kind of jack. I don't know what they used it for, but it's, it's here and marked cheap. I got the lathe. And then coming down here, this is like, what's broken, let's fix it corner. Everything you needed from the chemicals, the paints, the screws, the bolts, 
Uh, we're going to let you carry an armload of wood out of here for two bucks. You know, there's all kind of fun little parts and pieces. And look, and, and you never know what you're going to find. You got to come in this house and read around because here we are looking at the trash can and we turned up a water pump. So the old school, uh, you know, type water pump to, uh, you know, go on a well. So that was pretty cool. And then you've got large shop vac for keeping everything clean. And then you got more miscellany parts and pieces, you know, door handles, a chair halfway through being caned. Uh, uh, this, this, uh, rack is for sale. That's a nice sturdy, you know, parts bin or display rack, 50 bucks. Again, it'd probably behoove you to let us sell it empty for a little bit, but you can come buy it Friday and come back and get it Sunday and get out the door real easy. Okay. A couple more rows inside and we'll take a peek outside. Here are, uh, all kind of, uh, just miscellany mismatch. But tons of books in the corner. And when, of course, not to be outdone, the freezer is also full of books uh, because it just had to be the freezers. A nice upright freezer is for sale. I love the NASA poster. I think that thing's awesome. And then we had a lot of phone calls, maybe more than any other particular thing. Look at all the Tom Clark. This uh, Most people, when I, at least for me, I was this guy right here in particular. I always thought Tom Clark equals gnome. But it turns out old Tom was a prolific carver, or is. I'm not sure if he's still alive. Here's Uncle Herschel. Um, here's a Shriner guy. Here's a World War II guy. So we got all of them with their original boxes. And uh, it's quite a selection here. Down in front, you know, upstairs we showed you a lot of art. In the stairway, lots of art. Here is lots more art. Much of it unframed. An Underwood typewriter. That's a great piece. Another typewriter behind it. The Underwood's in the online auction. And then just a quick peek down this row before we go outside. Uh, we found the military uniform just a little while ago. This nice uh, multicolored uh, painted chest is online auction. The Wurlitzer Jukebox. This thing powers up and it tries to play. It looks like probably somebody that knows what they're doing needs to make an adjustment or two. But um, basically what you have here is a 90% working machine that needs a tweak. And then tag sale, we found this one late. You've got a nice round table and the um, uh, couple of cool uh, gumball vending machines more collectible toys and things down there in the boxes plenty more here in the middle if you know your toys in particular uh, this is an opportunity to come get your collectible for a bargain and uh, if you're an ebayer as these folks were you can probably find some place to make some money all right we're going to duck outside they've got two sheds that were put up under the house that we're selling out of they are uh, all well protected steel doors on them during the day uh, but we'll have it open during the sale. And then, okay, picture frames, picture frames, picture frames to go with all that unframed art inside. And then all across the bottom, this whole corner is boxes full of glassware marked really cheap. There's a lot of sandwich glass here. Again, if you do the sandwich glass, this would be a place for you. I like the the paper roll cutters. You know, it's kind of a commercial type situation. Homemade, but uh, really good. You got a nice wooden sled. You got the traditional metal rail sled badminton set the shelving is for sale again more glassware down it coming down the middle and on the wall we've got tons and tons and tons of your collector tins i bet there's a hundred in here if there's one I've got another really uh fun enamel top table here i've got more collectible toys down the middle the tonkas i got the fire truck the the backhoe uh tanker truck look at this fantastic door knocker Look at that thing. It's amazing. Heavy cast iron painted. That thing's pretty cool. Lobster trap. Don't find those in Tennessee every day. And then um, uh, luggage, 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 luggage. You got your health rider, golf clubs, all your, some of your standard estate sale stuff. I think these are fun. I got a, a handmade bicycle here and a handmade wooden, um, uh, what do you call that? Like a little kick, kick runner type toy. Okay. And then going across to the other room. The, uh, by the way, the, you're going to see a canoe in here. It's not for sale, but all the yard tools hanging up here on the wall are for sale. Of course, we got boxes piled up everywhere. We'll pull them out on the day of sale. Uh, there's the rest of the yard tools. And then I, I don't know what these guys are, but we have them for sale. And then there's a really fun primitive uh, gardening bench running down that way, workbench, whatever you want to use it for. Christmas lights. And then all these dish totes, um, if you like the dish barrels, uh, we got a bunch of those for sale as well. Hey, look at that. Hallmark Chris Keepsakes. Who knew? And last but not least is the uh, bandsaw. So, okay, folks, that's the basement. And it's going to be awesome, fun digging. You should come join us Friday, Saturday, Sunday, June 8th, 9th, 10th. You can check out the website, 7 for all the details. We will try our very best to update the website each night and delete things that have sold out of the photo gallery 
And uh, that'll give you an idea of what's remaining for each of the coming days. One last panoramic view here of the basement. And please make plans to join us.